Now with Dr. Jen taking a look at a new study that found the popular drug, a semaglutide used to treat obesity and type 2 diabetes is associated with a lower risk of suicidal ideations, and that's compared to other treatments. I'm glad we're talking about this, you guys, and I want to give you the macro big picture view on this because these drugs, Wegovi, Ozempic, Manjaro, this class of medication has been in the headlines almost every single day for a variety of reasons. Most recently, about anecdotal reports of a possible link to suicidal ideation. Um, it started with kind of reports that came out of Europe and then a couple of reports in the US may have suggested this. I wanna give you the important way to look at this. When you look at any medication that works in the brain in any way, shape or form, which these drugs do, of course, you want to be able to have a good view of observational data on how people respond to that. The more people that take a medication, the more you can see even the most rare side effects. That's the bottom line. Most recent data did not show an associated risk of suicidal behavior. Um, so again, people need to keep an eye on that. But this is important to look at this from that standpoint. But these drugs are really in the headlines right now. Everyone's yeah. talking about them. And they should be for good reason. In, they do more benefit than harm. All right, Dr. Chen. You bet. And if you're experiencing suicidal thoughts, you can call or text the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline where you can reach a trained crisis counselor for free 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.